Hello, I'm speaking inside now, I can know. Welcome to the Total Warhammer 2 series, head to head. Yar, I'm a pirate of the Blessed Dread, ha ha. The amusing thing is, the moment you were saying no brainer, you cut out. So you just, you, just your name alone was removed from my end of the video, which is, I mean, it's just perfect. I couldn't ask for anything better. Punk well, advisor well, here, by honest, the way. Yeah, we, no one, okay, I was going to say, no one knows your name still either. Uh, we have begun <laughs> the ritual of uh, the tortured oracle. We are torturing an oracle right now, guys, and it is fantastic. Seriously, you should try, all, you should try torturing oracle, oracles sometime. I mean, honestly, is this like foreshadowing for our D&D session? You did say you want to visit the oracle. Pan, you didn't say why. About things that the audience are never going to understand. And they might. I'd like to remind you. They by now that by the time they see this video, I will have had my uh, live stream about being a DM. So you know. Ooh, now that is a good segue. Congratulations. You you officially uh, put yourself into the video. <laughs> Thank well, you. Well, Thank you. I'm proud well. of myself. How do I have so much money right now? Uh, well, I'll tell you why. First, even though I lost Kai X and Zanze got completely destroyed, um, I finished my slave market, ha, which is an extra 15 income per 100 slaves, plus an extra 50% because of my uh, passive, my ability, because I'm the menace of Mathwan. Um, you so certainly you know, are with menace. Three, with 3,300 slaves, that's... You know, that's, that's a lot of moolah right there. And also, minus 10% upkeep on all my armies, which is a lot of money, because I have still have 6,600. <laughs> so 10% of that, mm, it's pretty good, pretty good. So Locke here, with his new, new minted crown, is moving south to try and deal with these dwarves. Technically uh, speaking, skill point. Mm. his crown isn't new, it just recharges its power by drinking vermin brad. Brad? I mean blood. Maybe it was brad, who knows. I don't know anything about that. All I know is that I found it in the wardrobe when I went back to my tower, and then the Skaven <laughs> attacked. Um, so, I'm gonna pick up Lashmaster for Circes for that plus nine charge bonus for Black Dragons. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we now have Black Dragons. Can, can I move, please? I'm not gonna applaud you for that. Uh, that's that's not gonna happen. If you, that's what you're waiting for. Apparently, I I don't have it. I can't move. Cool. What do? Oh, it's because I'm, I'm it's because I'm buying black dragons here as well. Uh, yeah, you're getting a lot of black dragons. That's right. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to have four black dragons. <laughs> yeah. By that point. He's literally going to be unstable. No AI army has what it takes to kill four drag black dragons plus. I have never, I've never tried using four black dragons. I have no idea how good this will be. I mean, I'm musically enough. Do you know what, in my opinion, counters black dragons fairly well? No. Dark shots. Counter yeah, and I have them as well. So. Yeah, I mean, there if you, you fight right. yourself, that would let you win. So, Admiral Darfin, he's going to slow down a bit because he needs to start building the slave hold and stuff because he needs that to give me some more income from post-battle loot since I'm going to have the dwarves to fight down here. Uh, Chupitoli, I, I really just have no idea what I ever want to build in you. I just really, really never know. Uh, so I guess I'll build the artisan house because that's something that slaves can use and abuse. <laughs> I don't think that slaves are the ones that do the abusing. Uh, who do we sell all these things to, you know? We, we, we put them to work, we get them to make a bunch of shit for us, and then we sell it. To them. Mad profits. I mean, it does sound like a fraud. Also, you're moving around the, uh, the map, but don't really do anything. Do you have a plan? Or should you just end your time? I do have a plan. My plan is to go grab my black dragons. Good. If, if the Black Dragons won't come to me, then I must come to the Black Dragons, after all. And you know what? I'm going to drop off some Dread Spears, because I feel like I'm going to need... I feel like my army is suddenly going to be a bit more mobile. I Let's wonder why. some Dread Spears for some Dark Riders here. We 
And now my upkeep has skyrocketed because black dragons are expensive at 500 each. My god, 500 each. Thank goodness. Maybe some of this will stop you from having 20 of them in your army. Now I can go ashore again. And oh look, everyone loves my black dragons. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Now the question is, do I defend against chaos or do I just go ahead and finish off the, the vampires of the Lost Coast? I might just finish off the vampires of the Lost Coast. It's Vampire okay. Coast. Yes, Lost Coast. You can is also call them Vampires. Video game series. And well, I have nothing else to do, so I shall end my turn. The Skaven are a little bit more upset with me because I've been trading with. I've, been, I've had treaties with Itza, but hey, they're willing to give me the trade agreement now, which is nice. Um, so you know, could I just um, get get a little bit more off of that? Their Kinoic power is apparently incredibly strong. Good to know. Oh, and the, the, the Tomb Kings have declared war on me. Just as I got back! <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's very convenient for you, actually. That being said, it reminds me, in one of our third recording sessions, didn't the Skaven declare war on you? Almost immediately? Or am I imagining things? I feel like there was something of, along those lines. Maybe. Um, there was a time I believe I'd killed... Skaven, maybe? Maybe that. I feel like there was some hostility there. I don't know. I like having I like having Skrulk on my side. He provides a nice little buffer. Oh wow, he actually was able to attack the Southern Sentinels. Hmm. I assume this is auto battle. Yeah. Very well. I'm surprised he managed to attack it, but oh dear. So it's just going to be Chipotle that's going to be. Uh, I mean, he did we'll see the what they do to it. Uh, they lost miners. They're the weakest unit they have. Yeah, but those dark shards killed a lot of troops. Hmm. <laughs> Probably the miners. Right, so everybody has started, and I made a good bet. It started next to Ziggurat of Dawn. They do have a Grave Guard and Khan Wraiths, however. Fairly elite units, those are. And they're loot led no, by. Help. They're also led by a Guru Lord, which is a hard thing to pronounce, actually, surprisingly enough. I could raise some dead, but I am in the red, so I better be careful how I approach this matter of raising dead. <laughs> Can you, can, will the garrison help you in the fight? The garrison will probably help me in the fight, actually. Uh, maybe no, it won't. They, are, they are too far away. That being said, once I st they stop raiding me, I should no longer be in the red. Hopefully. That said, they'll only stop raiding you as their power grows. No, uh, they'll stop raiding me when I murder them. Okay, good luck. Mm, I could use one more unit to hold them down in place as my artillery shells them. Question is, do I get the scavy dogs, which cost more, but are slightly more effective? Felbats, which will do absolutely nothing, or just one more zombie pirate deck and mob? I think this sounds the most promising, because they will allow me to... If you win the fight, you hmm. get your money back, so... Yeah, I know. The thing is... The army is actually surprisingly scary. Like, I don't want to admit it, but... But it is. Veto, veto, veto. No, 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 I'll walk closer to it, maybe I'll see more of it. No. I didn't. Oh. That's a shame. Right, maybe... Wait, first of all, my other admiral can uh, loot some random place in the middle of the ocean, so maybe this will give me money. Hopefully. So, I will not engage in combat, I'll just wait for a miserly hoard of treasure to be received. That's good enough for me. Extra thousand gold? Okay, that's better than nothing. Allows me to resurrect more dead. Then, let's go ahead and go for full speed and start looking for some other places that I could potentially loot. Also, visit some high elves. Because, why not? And, guess what? I found a mysterious island. This is amazing. They usually have pretty good stuff on them. Alright, now I can resurrect some better and more dead, and amusingly enough, Zombie Pirate Gunner Mop with handguns appeared out of nowhere, even though they were not available before. Don't mind if I do, they, will, they are my main damage dealers after all. And afterwards, I still have more money, and I can resurrect some more dead, so... One, two... Three Zombie Pirate Deck and Mobs is slightly risky because my army upkeep will still be high and I don't want to be actually bankrupt. Mm -hmm. That being said, I can always fire my army after I kill the enemy, right? And I want to make sure I win. 
So winning the fight will give you like a good thousand or two as well. So yeah, I'll ensure I win the fight, and if I'm too far in the red, I'll fire my units. I believe ensuring victory is the most important here. So I'll go ahead and meet the enemy head on. This is around ish seventy five percent. Do you want to fight or not? The other hmm. enemy units actually weaker than expected. Although, hmm, I mean, the scary things are Khan Wraiths and Wave Guard, and the enemy has. I'm, I'm willing to auto. Very well, yeah, I'm willing to auto as well. So auto resolved. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm. I'll be furious if I lose some artillery, but. No, it's fine. To the camo. I expected as much. Alright, let's get some more gold out of it, so I'm not in the red. And I'm still losing a lot of money, but I, again, got a good amount of gold from this fight. And some more infamy. I'm still very far behind everybody else. And Count mm -hmm. Noctilus might win the game, which would be hilarious. But that being said, I don't think it's possible for any AI to win a head-to-head -head campaign series. I think only the players can win. Either way, armor has been gained and I just realized I never equipped this guy with anything. So that's a little bit annoying. Hmm, he... <laughs> she, she just wants all of the equipment. She can't actually carry it with her, but you know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. She can't wear it all at once, but she's still carrying her wardrobe with her. I want him to have maybe the brass cleaver. It sounds fairly decent. Because it buffs allies and I like buffing allies. Enchanted shield sounds... Pretty good, plus 3 armor and plus 5 defense, but I can give this guy plus 5 melee and then 15% magic resistance or 30% missile resistance. I think that this is the most tempting in this situation. Talisman, nothing, because the only one I have is on Celostra. And yeah, everything else is on Celostra. So with that in mind, I have nothing else to give to this guy. He will have Root Matra, because why wouldn't he? Root Matra is just flat out awesomeness. And... Uh, I'll pop plop back into the Great of Dawn so that yeah. it keeps gaining public order rather than losing. This will also level up this Lord's ability to increase public order when he's in a city. I'll Eventually. construct the Samakulous Landing. Mm, this would put me in the red. Maybe I shouldn't actually. <laughs> it would be better if I were not in the red. I can construct three noose. This will not put me in the red. No, it won't. Um... It will lower the public order penalty. And it will increase my growth in the entire province, which I am hoping to grab at some point. So, let's grab that. And yes, I am not yeah, in the red. Still... I will right. be in heavily in the red on the next turn, but again, worst case scenario, I can fire some of my units. Besides, Mysterious Island should provide me with enough growth to go by. This is everything from me. End my turn, over to you. All right, he stole 2,500 gold in that other sack. A uh, hero recruited a Burke Blake. A hero recruited Burke Blake. Um, why is it taking me over here for that? I don't know. But here he is, he's <coughs> over here. An assassin? Um, is he any good? What does this guy do? Assassin. He has a, ridicu he has a ridiculously high missile damage. Because he has a really high, um, because he has a really high, uh, healer time. Campaign effects. Let's switch to my political pleasure. Really? That's a thing? The thing this guy does? Why does this, why does this exist? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Hawkeye, piercing shots, dead eye. Anything actually interesting on this guy? I would just fire him if I were you. It's not like you need him, right? Mind oh, game. This doesn't seem too terrible. Man, boom, dark venom. Interesting, interesting. Uh, alright. Well, we can send him at the dwarves, I guess. Well, you don't need to actually... There you go. Costs a bit of upkeep, but not much. Um, all right, so lock here. You got. You still can't quite get to the Southern Sentinels. That mm -hmm. sucks. But you can get close-ish. So go ahead and do that. 
Um, summon upgrades available. Master the old cards. Oh, here, here come chaos. Here they come indeed. I wonder if Garrison is still weekend. It doesn't look like it is. That is a shame. No, wait, that's the wrong city. Uh, what, what Garrison? This, no. is, this is the altar of the Horn Rat. It's different yeah, yeah. city. Sorry. You know, all of your Dark Ops cities look the same to me. Wow. <laughs> I'm a pirate after all. I'm supposed to be... Uh, racist? Is that what pirates do? No. Actually, now that I think about it, I think pirates are very... Non racist. Construction cost stuff. You know what? Parts of the heroes we all need. Am I right? Sure. I'm tempted to recruit a lord just so that I guarantee my victory here. Mm. Lords aren't cheap, but I don't need one for long. Mm hmm. Well, let's be honest, the Ultra Horror, it has walls. I'm gonna be just fine. What do they have? They have some missile cavalry, some chaos warhounds, some so chaos So, not units that can go through walls. Got it. Yeah, nothing that can go through walls. They might kill Mark of the Old Ones, but oh well. There is a small chance they have the Demon Cannon or whatever it's called, but I highly doubt it. It's only the first intervention. Mm -hmm. The only thing I'm actually worried about is the fact that they have that there's a minus nine to public approval right now. What? <laughs> How did you achieve such a thing? This thing is always rebelling, man. They've got 79% Skaven corruption. <laughs> oh, oh, that's gold. That's, that's what happens when you're gold. next to Skaven. And they're just sending Plague Priests at you despite being allies, you know? I mean, I bet they consider it a gift. It's Skrok, after all. Oh, hi, Luther. Did you find him? Again? Oh, hey, yeah, he's, he's right got no awful units this time. Wait, never mind, he's got... Uh, the bomb gunner dropper is thingies. Again, off we need it. Yeah, let's just... You can just bully him before he can recruit an army. Yeah, sure. Let's just let's just walk forwards and be like, Hey, Luther, how are you doing? Do you, do you see more of his units maybe now? No. Oh, more of his... No. no. He has a mortar. I mean, that already is far better than what he had last time. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Slanzik's so taking a massive approval hit, unfortunately. Um, because of all the sacking. God, Shepatoli is so rich, it's beautiful. And I believe that's everything that I want to do here right now in this moment in time. It's not like I can really punish them other than just raising the cities because you're not gonna take the and that's an auto battle. Oh yeah, they, they're attacks on Zeg again. Are they actually gonna raise it or something? Because uh, uh, it's already been sacked. Poor Arsper. Knew ye well. They hmm. actually lost a stack of horsemen. Yeah, the army is actually surprisingly weak, aside from the massive bone giant. Like, if there's a counter to your black dragons, that's this guy right there. You guys see their army more. Shift. They have Marauder Horsemen. Chaos Marauders. Marauder Horsemen throwing axes. Hell Cannon. Oh, they, they do have, have a Hell cannon. cannon. Oh, so now this makes it a far more dangerous for you when you are actually defending against them in a siege. Hell Cannon is... I mean, it's Hell Cannon. Sounds hellish. Mm-hmm. It's a literal demon that's a cannon. Mm-hmm. I do have a black dragon with my garrison though. Oh yeah, you'll probably need to use your black dragon to kill the hell cannon, because otherwise it will shrek through your units. Oh, yeah. Also, it has homing missiles, hell cannon, it's really amazing. Like, literal heat-seeking missiles. Yeah, they raise marks to the old ones. Uh, it's chaos, that's what they do. Yeah. Very well. It is now my turn again. Supplies adrift. Good. Wow, that's a lot in the red. Why am I losing 1100 gold all of a sudden? 1100 uh, gold. Oh, because I recruited units for the Celestial Dive, and that's why. Never mind. Right. Right, so I can reverse the front line further no more, which is kind of amusing and very uh, fitting for my faction, which will increase 
armor and melee attack for all of my melee infantry. That's very good, actually. Right. Or I could increase the range and reload time for missile infantry. Yeah. That's... Honestly, both of them are very tempting. But I think I got rid of most of my melee infantry units. I don't think the monsters count as melee infantry. Yeah, so I probably don't. So, let's fill in Vlad. Nice. Gunnery crews are ready as well, so that increases my missile damage. Just in case I didn't have enough of an increase. So, I'll deal with the red thing in a moment. Firstly though, technology, because that's some juicy stuff. So, first of all, actually before I check the technology, I need to check how much am I spending on my guns exactly. Also, why does Silastra have... Oh no, she is supposed to have holes in the side, never mind. So anyway, how much do I spend on my guns? 111, 200 something-ish on the carronades. 150 on Molto, Queen Bez is 500, hmm, that's interesting and tempting to lower the upkeep of. Um. And considering my financial situation, this is probably the best idea. I'm very tempted to increase missile damage for all of my uh, artillery or for all of my black powder units by 10% or 5%, which is very, very substantial, of course. But I think lowering the upkeep is my top priority because I am having some money issues right now, so let's do that. It is a little bit. Uh, you might need to attack Hex at all this turn purely to get your money back. We'll see, we'll see. Oh no, I won't be able to reach. No, yes, I will be. Hmm, it depends. If this admiral can actually search the island while at full speed, then I might be okay. We'll uh, see. Um, good luck with that. It did happen once, we don't know why it did, and he can. Awesome. He's just mm. amazing. Alright, those will escape. Let's grab that. That gives me enough gold to not worry too much about the red. And I have a humongous range, so that's also pretty good. Let's keep moving along. Arnheim is an interesting place. I don't really care about it. I mean, he's just a one dude. What can he do as a pirate, really? He could raise an entire army with all that money and just go for it. Yeah, and then I would have no more money. Oh, my ghost power is back. Mm. What? The ghost knight. Robert Bar for uh, cool. who doesn't like music. I suppose I what could and, uh, add him to the uh, my, to my secondary army. And my secondary army... He needs to find a source of income for me. <laughs> the mirror pool of Tepok is fairly well defended from what I remember. Mm -hmm. So it probably well, will... Maybe those high elves are. I highly doubt it, they have an actual army there, maybe, so... Maybe yeah. you can go search Great Rock Point, back to your old home and, like, search for money, maybe. Last time it gave me a thousand gold, that was worthless. I could go against uh, Lufur Haken before you kill him. That might be a source of gold, but he's quite far away. Don't know how useful yeah, that would you, be. You, the, the key is before I kill him. Yeah, that's what I said. So, I don't think this is an option. I would rather actually just use this guy to help me conquer... Hyoxto, which would be decent, I suppose. So I'll just go ahead and march him for the time being. Like so. And what do I do about this god? I really don't want to be losing all of that. Like, this is a huge amount of gold lost. If I make a port, I will lower the expenditure by 200, which is nice. That would have put me heavily in the red, and I would go bankrupt this time. Although a port does provide me with extra growth, which is pretty cool. You you need to you need to siege Hexatol this turn, build a ram or something, and then next turn go for it. That is most likely true. Unless I go for Mirror Pool of Tepok and sack it fast. If it is an interesting object of sacking that being, because the enemy is at war with uh, the Dark Elves, I think, maybe. Actually, let's just check it instead of guessing. So, let's have a quick look. See, at Hyoxto, they are at war with the Tomb Kings and me, and nobody else. So, they might have some gold in Mirapool of Tepok. Can you even reach Mirapool of Tepok in two turns? Yes. I can be right next to it in one turn. I feel like you should just go for Hexatol, man. I could not kill it in a single turn, I don't think. Well, not this turn, certainly, but you can build siege and stuff this turn. Mm, maybe I should. I mean, my army will reinforce me on the next turn, and then I could take it and it would have a gold mine and whatnot. This might be true. 
I'll do it. Like, Miracle of Tapok is so far out of the way, and it's not gonna give you that much compared to Hexital, and it's not right. that hard to take. Wow, this crab is awesome Compar looking when he moves. Alright, so... The army garrison is as scary as it always is. That being said, the enemy actual army could be scarier, but they might be recruiting some units as it is right now already. Well, they can't when you're sieging. That is a fair point. Anyway, oh, that is that is rough, however. Because I have so few units, because of how many monsters I have and the guns, I can't even make a battering ram in a single turn. My zombies are worthless. Alright, well, still, I... Hmm. I think it is still worthwhile to wait for one turn just to get some reinforcements and guarantee my victory. Yeah. I would say this is uh, the best course of action. I mean, that's extra free mortals that is huge. I'll just be able to shell them for days. And also a lot of bodies to throw at the enemy. Again, very, very nice. I am so tempted to construct something, but if I do, I will be bankrupt. So I really yeah, don't. can't. Unless I can. I'm treating this with the crisis it deserves to be treated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I can do to boost my income, but no, I have taxes enabled, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. No, this will be a something. This will be something that we'll have to deal with the next turn, or perish. So. I'll treat it as such, you're absolutely right. And my turn, over to you. Three heroes, man, when you only have one province. Also, it's a good thing it was a short turn since I forgot to change scenes and it was all from your perspective. Oh, for God's sake. United <laughs> against us, the Order of Lawmasters has joined- I- oh, I- wow. I thought Tectus was dead already. I, I thought so to too. I'm just gonna have to get take. I'm just gonna have to take the Blessed Dread out for a spin and just go all the way up this coast, I think, because too many people are at war, are declaring war on me. I mean, this makes me happy with uh, the AI programmers because it looks like the AI realizes that, hey, if we don't do something, this guy is going to conquer everything. Sure, that's totally what happened. Now, uh, I can't help but notice that my Admiral is going to get attacked by the uh, Tomb Kings if he doesn't just walk slightly out of the way. Um, I suggest you don't walk slightly out of the way. They will never expect it. Well, head on to... Oh my god, how many of these? Thlaxtan? Why do I want to conquer Thlaxtan? No, I don't care about 10 scrolls. I get like 16 a turn. That's actually a very high amount. Yeah, Ultra of the Horn Rack gives you a lot. I should have taken it a long time ago. Yeah, should I? Alright, let's go over this way. Admiral Durfin move very slightly back. In fact, you can move up here, and that's probably the safest, because then you can swing around. You're not going backwards, you're just going sideways. Uh, and you can't go to the level 3 cell decks because you don't have uh, a level 3 black arc yet. That's fine. I am nervous about this Lord Tactress, but we have even armies, but I have walls. That Good should be advantage. enough. I should be fine, even though Maraud even though Chaos Marauders are really strong units. Yeah, but they don't have enough to contest your walls really. Hell can it or not, they just mostly have cavalry. Mm hmm I do have a sorceress dark in there. I don't know what she has. Uh, Pit of Shadows? She has, she, she has Chill Wind, that's decent. Oh, okay. Not like exactly Pit of Shadows level. No. She's only a level 1 Sorceress, I think. But hey, it looks like Luther Harkin walked into Thlax. He was like, ah, okay, this is scary. Mm. Yeah, it is. Savage. That's fine by me. Alright, uh, there is apparently a fight that we're meant to fight, I think. All right then. Press. Let's take these two black dragons out yeah. for a spin. Press quick fire, quick save before you do anything, please. Sure. Why didn't I bring my black arc with me? Uh, I don't know, know but you're gonna win either way. All right. That being said, if there's anything Lufor does have going for him, it's that he does have a lot of spells. Not very good spells, mind you, but he has a lot of them. Good for him. Indeed. I'm happy for him. Proud as I would be proud of my son. <laughs> no, that's a lie. Really? 
All right, well, you, I see some deck droppers. So I'm just gonna have an aerial battle. These black dragons slowly approach. Your units already have low morale just seeing the black dragons. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll just burn your entire. Wow, something. this scrape shot is really great, actually. What, what are you doing? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, ow! Oh, hey, I can fire while moving. Maybe I shouldn't just let the black dragons eat me. I feel like it might be too late. Yeah, probably. A bit too late. Just a little bit. Wow, that's so, so Ooh, fast. Metal snack. So, so very fast. So, what those hand cannons gonna get maybe one shot in? I mean, that's all they're good for, really. <laughs> Alright, where's Luther? Nowhere. Oh, Ignore him. Could you not? The, the trees are blocking a bit. Alright, you know what? what? You know what I can do? You know what I can do? There's something I can do. I can kill the entire cavalry line. No, they can't. no you can't. They're too fast. <laughs> you didn't kill them all. No, I did weaken them. Alright, now let's make oh, all of your dragons tired. They are tired now. There'll be more in a second. Uh, but Luther's getting just chipped off. There goes one arm, there goes the other arm. <laughs> Ooh, I think they might have eaten a leg that time. Go away. Bill Jennings has attacked my firing line, that's cute. Ah, uh, did you really walk away? Did I? Nah, I'm sure I didn't. Just walk through those units, you don't need to care. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. Why are there so many dragons again? Slippery devil, Luther. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All those guys just go flying. Speaking of which, that's the same thing that happened to your Corsair, so much appreciated. Oh, they're fine. I don't need them anymore. I have black dragons. That's you do, don't, don't, don't let Luther hear that. Don't, don't let, um, not Luther. God damn it. Don't let Locke hear that. <laughs> The dragon is a little bit shaken. Yeah, I'm gonna put him back in the air. He'll be fine. I really have not been paying any attention to the rest of my units. I know this. whole time. Just gonna fire in your things, please. Mm -hmm. Alright, just walk away, my dragon. Oh, hey, look at that. My my dragons are no longer winded. But they're now exhausted. Oh wait, they're now exhausted. Okay. <laughs> Bigger bonus. Not enough. That's even worse. <laughs> Bigger bonus is not enough. I don't think I'll be able to kill any of you units, however, which is very sad. I was hoping I could just solo this with the dragons, but no. Is there something no, wrong? Nothing. We're fine. Are you? We're fine. Come on, free on the health now! I'm even firing at him with my mortars. <laughs> He's shattered. He's not coming back, but ah, uh, he survived, I think. Ah, uh, he might actually be dead. We'll see. We'll see how how it works. 
think he survived. I'm very sad about it. I almost, I don't... you almost got him to not pay enough attention. Yeah, I was not paying. I didn't realize just how much damage he was going to do all of a sudden. I mean, I oh, focused. I kept focusing fire with my hand gunners, and they are strong. <laughs> well, your army's dead now. Yeah, it is. Oh well. Let's see if those white dra Let's see if that black first white dragon lives. If or I not. killed him, I'll be so proud of myself. But I don't think I did, unfortunately. Uh, I uh, may have got a place, and you know they take like three turns to. I see them. a tiny sliver of red bar. I think uh, your entire mm -hmm. army is fine. I think he's fine. I think he's fine. Because hmm. you know, I could just send those white dragons in to you know kill the army, but I didn't. I sent them straight after Luther, and then he just ran away. And it was like oh. I instead attacked anything else, they would have just... He killed. survived. Ah, it's so close. If I got Lufer firing on him a little bit more, like one more shot or two, and he would have been so dead. Why did he have to notice? I noticed. <laughs> I was flying him over to Luther to breathe on him. Uh, and then I was like, wait, why is my breath not working? Wait, why am I taking damage? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you killed 500 units. That's something, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But if... That's such a shame. King that Black Dragon would have totally made my day. Well... That went well. Yeah. Now I can just repair this whilst I just sit in here and heal up for a little bit. Those white dragons went, Those white dragons went on low health. But this does make me somewhat hopeful for the future. It does mean that your Black Dragons, as scary as they are, not invincible though. Like those are just two units of zombie pirate gunning mobs with uh, handguns that managed to almost take it down. Mm hmm. Look for help a bit, sure. But either way, those are just two fairly cheap units. Turns yeah, out they have very good armor pieces. I could have got my Black Ark in range the whole time. Oh. Yeah, you could have. Also, that grape shot, like I said, amazing. I was half hoping that it, I would be able to kill two stacks of units just with that. But again, there was a tiny bit of red health left. And yeah, no. I could upgrade the artillery here, but I think what I'm going to do instead is go for some torture posts on this guy to upgrade his... Uh, to upgrade all of the units that you recruit by plus three. Do I grab the sorceress's cabin to get some sorceresses? I don't know. Do you? I just realized you're really lame. You never went for the hydras. They would have been amazing. I kind of just skipped them straight to the dot, straight to the black dragon. Yeah, but they're so cute. I do like Hydras a lot, actually. They are, I feel they're pretty cost-efficient. Yeah, especially since, you know, they're growing heads are fun. I'm using enough, mm -hmm. I think they may be better against Vampire Calls than Black Dragons. Since Black Dragons, like, you saw what happens when they focus fire. Whereas Hydras... I, then again, I don't know, they do have way worse stats. Maybe it would be just the same. Alright, let's just start spending money to uh, power level this guy by having him assault the garrison every turn. Maybe for failure. <laughs> well, failure is how you learn. Yeah, which means I'm the most educated person on the planet. Aha! Self burn. Yeah, pretty much. Let's hop, skip, and jump to show tech. There's um, still more settlements after that, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I know. I know there are. He conquered a lot. I've seen yours, your screen. Uh, hopefully the whole to the horn rat is fine, and I believe that is all there is for me here. Uh, I could repair stuff instead of upgrading. That's probably a smarter choice. Hawk Smash, you're good, but well, let's 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 start repairing stuff instead. Finally, you don't have enough money to literally do everything. <laughs> I kind of spent it all on black Ark stuff and dragons, mostly dragons. That too. Oh, actually, let's not repair this. Because I can upgrade the artisan house to a crafting district. Which is a nice little extra bit of money. Which then bolstered by slaves by 44% is a good amount of money. Imminent rebellion in the whole 
in the Headhunters jungle. That's my worry, honestly, that the Rebellion happens, it grows a little bit, and then between them and Chaos, I have a problem. That's my now, worry. Now, you say this is your worry, but this is also my hope. Either way, and you're telling me that's everything you have to do. That's everything I'm going to do. Good time. boy. You have this issue where, when you're ready to press the end 10 button, you start second-guessing yourself and checking if there's really nothing else for you to do. And guess what? It's my turn. Or rather, my time to negotiate. I mean, it's not going to be a negotiation. I know what they're gonna say. They're gonna beg for peace treaty, give me, offer me 750 gold, and I'll spit in their face and say, no, F you. Somebody performed a Rite of Sodek, which probably affects you, or maybe nobody. There's a lot of thunderstorms everywhere. I don't know how I feel about this. I'll just check if I'm in the right scene. I am. That is good. So, I think this will be it. I think I'll actually go ahead and move in against the enemy. I might be just barely close enough to help. Maybe. Or I might just be one step too far away. Close. Let's see. I am one step too far away. Oh. But if I stop the siege and attack it from the other angle, I think it will be fine. Yeah, I do think that's how it's gonna work. I mean, either way, I wasn't able to make any siege equipment, right? So I'm not really losing anything. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Firstly, before I do anything, let's distract myself by looking for treasure. I mean, I mean, I am desperate, right? And hey, mysterious... No, that's remnants of battle, actually. I won't be able no. to reach it this stand though. But uh, it will be a something. I don't think they necessarily will give me money though. Like they might be giving me something else. I don't but... know, some of those... Have you seen the amount of money I'm paying for these guys? Some people might have some money in their pockets. Mm. Either way, let's see. Let's I ain't got to... How is a black dragon supposed to spend 500 gold every turn? Ah, that's a very good question. Anyway, I'll break the siege. Exit! Stay mm -hmm. And I should still have way more than enough movement to attack it from the other angle. Again, worst case scenario, nothing will happen really. So let's walk like this. I hope I will have enough movement. But yeah, I will. Of course, if you had if you had to deal with the loyalty mechanics, um, you would actually still, lose loyalty every time you break the siege. Still no reinforcements, even though they stand right behind me. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Can I afford to wait for one more turn is the question. It's 900 gold. Can you afford 900 gold? I mean, I can fire the entire army, but it would that feel like a humongous waste if I do that. Can I win the yeah. siege is another question. Because I don't want to use another veto. This isn't an essential fight that I would feel more justified using a veto on. The enemy has Geomantic Nexus, which summons a skink priest. Oh, that's... Uh, hate that. But, okay, ignoring the skin Priest, which I shouldn't ignore. The enemy has a lot of that. If only I could get the other army in, this would be... Wait a second, if I force march them, would they arrive in the sure battlefield? they can reinforce if they're in force march. Let me check. That's still something that's worthy of investigation, so... March. Battle initiation disabled, yes. I mean, worst case scenario, they still won't do anything. Best case scenario, they will actually do something, right? Yeah, sure. Do you want to change any of my units for there? Not really, my army is flat out better. So, moving closer. Click on the siege again. And reinforcements! Tired, oh, wow. but reinforcements. Yeah, I'll press the start battle button. And immediately, first thing I do is murder your effing tower. Yep, yeah, it does not. It cannot shoot at your guns, sadly. That is absolutely amazing. It can reach a Celestra, I think, unless I was smart enough to deploy her far away. And I was. Good. So, I'll kill the tower, make it far safer for my army to move around. And this mm -hmm. tower takes a humongous amount of damage, which makes me very, very happy. Yeah, your artillery is very strong. It absolutely is. Alright, so, with this in mind, let's change priorities. So you guys, fire at this. Caronades now need to focus on the other tower if possible. The tower has been destroyed. I wonder why. Right, and you guys... 
just need to not move. You're not the ones I wanted to move. You guys should move, however. And an army may spawn an enemy unit. <gasps> oh no! It would be a shame if I had something to matter this unit with. Alright, meanwhile... Let's move in more of my units. Closer. Alright, Carinates. Please kill those Stardom Riders. I really don't like them. Units of fire, you also kill those. Also, you're right in the middle of all my units that hit in the forest, so this Stink Priest doesn't have the best day in his life. No, no, he, he's not. He's, he's died pretty quick, unfortunately, but he did his job, sort of. Oh? He what? hit Queen Bess for a lot, or was that just a mortar? He hit a mortar for a lot. <laughs> yes, he did. Wait, what are you firing upon? Oh, some of my other units. Okay. Carinades, carinades, do whatever the carinades do. That's how it goes, right? Sure. Let's group those and the mortars together. Nice. So you fire at this, you at this. Spread the fire around as much as humanly possible. As I try so very, very hard to actually establish some kind of uh, battle line somewhere at some, some point. Way. Oh, I see why Karanis are firing because I have units right in front of them. That is a bit annoying since this allows your tower to actually keep firing. Thankfully, it's firing into a forest, so so far most of its yeah. hits actually missed. Yeah. Okay, I do have a new spellcaster, who has Aspect of the Dread Knight, which is nice, increases leadership, and, ooh, Spirit Leech, that's going to be very, very useful. And of course, the beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous Salosco. Every now and again, it somewhat gets a hit in. <laughs> yeah, it does. You know, my carnets are trying very hard to actually do their job, but that is fine. Well, you have patience. Down. Alright, excellent. So tower 2 is down. That's good. Now what I need is a breach in the wall so I can actually move through everything without, uh, you know, problems of having to go to your front gate where there are more towers, which I don't mm -hmm. appreciate. Again, carronades are very good for that because they do have that armor piercing and it does also, you know, help with the forts, right? Fort mm -hmm. walls, rather. So that's excellent. I, my gun now, my gunnery men actually have better range than your skin cohort with javelins, so they are firing happily. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. I can imagine it would be for you. Let's move a little bit wider then. wider still, group some more units. I'm finally starting to group my units and it feels so good whenever I can do that. It's like their destiny is being fulfilled. Maybe I'm a little bit overdramatic, but still we know the idea. Alright, so the Carolines have done their job. Blown a hole in the wall. Let's make another one. There's a draft to die, I So those draft Diaphan, that was an interesting name we gave her. It's a giant crap. No, it is. Let's keep firing over the walls. Fully, mortars have very good firing arc, so I can reliably mm -hmm. damage your army. The mortars aren't very good against the lizard men. 
they have uh, no armor placing to speak of. And the missile damage is good, but for siege artillery, it's not good enough to really deal with temple guards and proxy guards. Sure, I can soften you up, however, and I will absolutely do my best to just do just that. Also, all of my units are no longer grouped, and I don't know why. And an enemy ability spawned an enemy unit, which is somewhat annoying. I was expecting that to do a lot more. <laughs> right, dear Queen Bess, could you not? Damn it. <laughs> I was expecting to be able to snipe it maybe with Wind Blast or something, but no. Thankfully not. Alright, so the uh, Mongols yeah, are here the, on the, the Watch Duty. For this. Yeah, he's not. If that's what you were trying right, to achieve. I was hoping to like, just kill the kill that before I lost. Well, I guess not. No, I made sure that it's well defended and I actually paid attention to Stamara. Mm -hmm. Well, more attention than usual. I just can't deal with the fact that you have all this artillery and then this firing line that's going to kill me as soon as I leave. Yep. It is. And I'm happily going to keep firing upon you. And the Winds of Magic have been very weak to me this uh, fight. Fortunately, uh, your artillery is losing the ammo. Yeah, I wish I had the Gannery White. I will work on getting him back as soon as possible. Again, I am perfectly willing to uh, wait this out. Mm-hmm. Hardly surprising. So maybe we need to speed this up, plus you just shell me for a while? Uh, as soon as I ensure that I do have a working battle line, yes. Uh, let me just quickly make sure that this is the case. And you know what? Instead of waiting, which is kind of lame, I am going to make this more interesting. Yeah, send some summon units in there. Yeah, why not? They are not my army. Yeah. And uh, sure, they are not the best against temple guards, but again, who cares? I don't. Victory! In fact, I could summon even more units. What is Salas gonna die of his hotkey? That's it, okay. Let's summon more units. Those temple knights or quest knights are going to keep walking. Say what? My Do unit fans keep going away. Whenever I have to restart the game, I guess. Alright. No, nope. uh, it looks like units are rampaging into them. Okay. Good, because this may will potentially make you rampage out of the walls. Mm -hmm. Let's fight with something that's far weaker against cavalry, such as Soros Warriors with shields. And rampage them as well. Excellent. And then let's keep walking through the town and ignoring all of your units and rampage whenever I can catch something of God. Cool, I guess. I mean, that's works, right? Yeah. One of my units has used up all of its ammunition. Oh, that's lame. Yes. Run out of ammo. No, Quest Knights, you're not supposed to be here. Fight that. What the hell? What? Yeah, that was pretty funny. So the, the, the banner was over the Questing Knights, mm -hmm. uh, but it was over like a small group of like six of them. And then he hit them, and then suddenly like tons of them are right there. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> well, they're going to spear from the summit. Nah, no, that's a shame. I was hoping I could chase down your uh, coming against Kings a little bit. Just walk through. If you can. Well, it's, they're really slow at walking through the walls. Apparently. Yeah. I did enrage some units that are not even close to the questing night somehow. Alright, sure. I expected this would happen. The questing night would just get immediately stuck. But what else is going to happen? Why I was like, yeah, let's fast forward this. Oh, a ship is going to happen. Eh, it didn't do as much damage as I was hoping, really. I'm, I noticed just in time, but it did a lot of damage. Don't get yourself. 
I misclicked on a song of Froment, that's a shame. I keep throwing units at you in the hopes of rampaging more of your units and forcing you out of the walls. I mean, they did. They ran out and then they ran back in. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a few, just a few more shots and then I'll have to actually move in against you. Alright, this is nice. The walls are breached. Units still refuse to rampage. Well, yes, temple cards don't rampage. No, oh, yeah, they don't. That's a thing. I forget about that. That will explain so much. Alright, let's see. What can I do with Salastra to make this faster fight? I keep losing her on my taskbar as well, which is somewhat amusing. Alright, so let's change it to level 1 now, I suppose. Unless it was already on level 1 and I didn't notice. Just level one. Fair point. Yes, Alright. So far, so okay. Did you so see how easy it was to march in? You could have just done this slow long ago. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to take too much damage, you know? You can blame me for that, really. I honestly didn't expect your army to also collapse so easily under the pressure of just gunmen alone. Uh, my only infantry are halberds, basically. No. Halberds are good anti infantry. They are, but they're not good enough. My lord is under attack! <gasps> oh no, it's almost like I didn't care. Can my Karanites do something useful and fire this giant dinosaur that actually marched out? I think they can. I think they're fine. They are firing indeed. It's awesome. So I lost track, can you do something more useful? Oh, you're out of abilities and I'm out of abilities of magic as well. To be expected. Certainly so. Alright, you know what I'll do? I'll force you to defend the middle as well, since you seem to be ignoring that completely. Middle what? Oh, that. Because yeah. <laughs> your army really doesn't want to break. I don't know what's up with it. Uh, cold-blooded. I have four units that all provide cold-blooded. That would explain some things. Oh, well, thankfully, Giant Rotting Leviathan is pretty good. Pretty good. Destroy. Yes. And everyone shoots. Yep, because I started capturing the middle. That really punishes your leadership. But finally, after dozens of videos of attempts, congratulations! I got hit sword. To throw ten count cannons up there and go, all right, I'm gonna take this. Yep, pretty much. Hey, that if that works, that's fine by me. At the very least, it's gone.
Yes. Uh, the um, what really killed me, honestly, was um, Zolostra. Uh, ship that came down. Uh, the two waves actually completely destroyed my front line. Mm, I see. Like there was no point for you doing any summoning or anything like that. Just two of those. Boop. Like I don't know why you were spamming wind blast. It's a complete waste of wind, wind blast. Cause no wind is a magic. It's my uh, active ability. I can use four of those for free. That's why I was oh, using them. Okay. Sure, they don't do much damage, but again, free stuff. Why not? All right. So, did they lose anything? I well, lost you, nothing. You managed to keep those zombie pirate gobs. Uh, you didn't actually. I don't think he was paying attention, but on the walls, I'd actually sent a temple guard up there. And yeah, I did. Them. I started retreating them at some point. They had, it was, I could sack this for 1800, no, 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 not 1800, yeah. 18,900, yeah. but I won't, I will occupy this. It's really sad you don't have loot in Occupy. <laughs> I know, right? It is, it is, but I need it and want it and I have it now. Mm -hmm. So, okay, enemy killed to battle, lots of enemies have been killed, Hyox though is Finally mine, and I'm still in the red, but... Uh, You've officially got yourself a second province! Indeed I have. So, I now have two places which actually have cannonary shed, so I can destroy one of those, which will give me some money, which is nice. I have a gold mine, lovely. I can make a smuggler's landing now, I suppose, but let's see what I can make over in Hughes, though, because, hey, that's the big thing, right? Also, actually, I don't need a rusted pistol troll, really. I'll get rid of that as well. Give me some more money. So let's have a quick look see at any potential unique structures, building chains and whatnot. I already have the gold mine and uh, no unique structures whatsoever. That's very disappointing. What I am going to get, however, is plunder pile for money. What else am I going to get? Well, the question is, what can I afford without going into red? Hmm, some fingers I can still afford. So let's see. I really want flying units sooner rather than later. I also really want the Necroflex Colossus, but that's just a spe separate structure in and on itself. I want Death Guard. Tree and Noose, it's already been constructed somewhere else. I don't care about it that much. Honestly, considering the level of the zombie pile of this horde of filched farm arms, I could just keep it and upgrade it to get my garden right ASAP. Which I think I will do actually. I will keep it so that I can how later level your, it up. How much does your gold mine make? If 150 gold. Your gold mine is OP, man. What? 150? That's a level 2 gold mine though. Yeah. You call money a P, like I said. Oh well. Oh, oh, okay. I think that's a vampire count thing. I think they're not allowed better gold mines. Hmm. Alright, so if I keep constructing everything, this will put me into bankruptcy. So I don't think I can do that. Which is a bit of a shame. Does demolishing immediately take into account? No. So that's why, that's why I need to wait for 110 with constructing stuff. So what do I need, not need to construct ASAP? I really want the plunder pile. It increases the income from all structures, so I'll keep that. I'll not make the port. And I'll start working on... Hmm. The thing is, Celestra already has this thing that allows her to potentially get Ganyan White in the future. I kind of want her to be able to get, recruit range units any at any point I want, but at the same time they're not very likely to die out, are they? But I did already spend money on this. More importantly, hmm, I spent population on this. I mean crew, uh, pirate crew thingy, population surplus. So yeah, I think I'll keep that and I'll demolish it over here. And I'll start working on the Lagoon of Drowned Sailors, except I cannot afford that, so I won't, and this should be all she wrote. I have a commandment available, don't mind if I do. I do have positive public order now, finally. So what I need is either more growth, which is very tempting. More public order is not necessary at this point in time. Or more vampire corruption, which would be splendid. 
I think I might go for more Vampire Corruption. Or Dredge the Sea just to get more actual growth. No, more Corruption. I can't make a decision. I'm very bad at this right now. And I'll send skill points for Celostra, of course. So she's already awesome. I could give her tenacity for humongous boost in health, which is very tempting, but I want to keep boosting my actual armies. So I already started walking through the black powder of Lord Tree, so I'll continue doing that so that my artillery is even better than it was. Because we both all know that Gensdale hates the artillery, so I can abuse that. This guy needs to start walking walking somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I'll get him to walk somewhere. Because why not? And there is finally, officially, nothing else for me to do. And my turn, over to you. And you probably want to end this video since it's relatively light. Yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. This will be me, Gameslay99, aka No. Thank you for watching. I messed up the outro. Pan, you do one. Sure, what do you need me to say? I don't know. Bye. That sounds way too easy, though. Well, yeah, of course it does. Spice it up a little bit. Hmm. Alright guys, I'm the magical fairy who's going to bless you all to bed as you dream of my sweet sweet victory. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.